Hello, I'm Kay. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Euthanization. They chose to kindly sponsor this video due to what we're watching today. We are watching an episode of Sex Sent Me to the ER. It is truly one of TLC's greatest fucking divine hits known to man. Ugh. Let's watch some fuck shit. High school? Yeah, here I come. Is he implying that he's a fucking pedophile? I like to score big, do you, Jason? <laughs> Whoa! Damn, I almost got killed. What attracted me to Jason was his confidence. We're currently 14 seconds in. Um, my first notice of this, this is my first time watching this video. The acting makes me think they're Canadian. Like, this is Degrassi on fucking meth. Lily Pons is a better actor than this. I, that's all I'm gonna. He seemed genuine, she right? Recognize real. You know how you can just look at some people and be like, <laughs> "You're a snow bunny. You're a snow bunny." I'm Jason. I'm Michelle. I met this awesome girl who was visiting from Canada. Canada. I am starting to believe the actors they choose from this are the bitches from Toddlers and Tierras just grown up a few years. Did you see that shit? I've watched so much goddamn Toddlers and Tierras to know one when I see one and that is one. A Canadian toddler tiara wearing snow bunny. Yeah. I played a video game. Yes. I have the number three top score of all time. Ooh! The number three top score of all fucking time. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if you missed. I started feeling a little neglected at first. I was like, yeah, I'll let him do his thing. I swear to God, this is my first time watching this video, and this bitch just pulled out a Toddlers and Tiara dress. Oh, <laughs> In order to distract him from his video game, my idea was to bring the video game to life. I was like, okay, well, there's a princess in the game. Guess what? I have this princess costume from one of my competitions. For competitions. Pageantry. Yeah. This is why I'm pro-euthanization, because I feel like some people should not be be allowed to legally have intercourse. Like, some people should be required to take a test to just, like, figure out, are you even head smart enough to know, like, what the fuck to do? Sir Jason, how about you rescue a real-life princess? Oh, good night. Mm -hmm. And you be my big, strong knight. Okay. Rescue me. Okay. I have to skip this shit. I can't. With the Canadian acting, like, it's just, it's bad. It's always bad. It's always been bad. It'll never not be bad. Excuse me. I'm looking for, like, a medieval knight costume, something like that. Okay, fucking wait a minute. So I think I fast-forwarded too much, and now he's in a costume shop? Let me put this in perspective. Your significant other comes in, and they're like, <laughs> Look, I'm a princess. Seth, you wanna fuck? What are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna fuck right then and there. You're not gonna say, give me an hour. Walk down to your goddamn local party city and come back with a costume. I was hoping that he was gonna come back with the night costume. That was my idea. <laughs> Big bag you've got there. What do you see what's in it? Excuse me while I slip into something a little bit more medieval, my lady. Okay, so now he's putting his costume on. I don't know what it is. I hope to God he kind of comes out in like a Mario suit and goes, woohoo, let me smash that pussy. Like, I don't know. I feel like that would be kind of enjoyable. I could get down with that. Sir Jason, Sir Jason, the green dragon is ravishing me. This will be my last point made about the acting. The thing about TLC shows is they produce so much shit. Keep in mind, I think it's enjoyable shit. I like watching it but they have so much going on, they just need whatever fucking actors they can find. And in Sex Sent Me to the ER, they want people that look most like them. I don't know, part of me feels like they have a producer just fucking go walk down, what's that shit in California called that, um, oh, the street in California where uh, like shit in LA. So I feel like they have a producer just walk down there, have a picture and be like, you need to find people that look like this, and they grab the first fucker they see, and they, that's why none of them can act. And that's why it's fucking amusing, like- Charge into the enchanted cave and rescue me. 
but the only water I have nearby is from a plant feeder. Jason, I understand the foreplay thing, I get it, but what goes through your mind to make you think looking like that green fucker from Dragon Tales is something that, like, another person would want to have intercourse with? For us to fulfill yes. our role, but yeah, we had to make a couple of adjustments. <sighs> we got very down and dirty with the costumes. Yeah. yeah. Girl. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh. Mm. Hang on, hang on, what the fuck was that? Mm. Um... I don't even like have the words to say. The other thing with TLC is they try so hard to meet a time limit so that they can just fill up this show. So they put the most random cuts in there. Like why was there a fucking rubber rooster? The princess tamed the dragon and there was peace in the valley. <laughs> Wake up. What? I need the key, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't feel so good. I don't know how intoxicated you have to be to fall asleep in a dragon costume. So he asked me where I hit the key, and I said I hid it in my treasure chest. <laughs> treasure chest. She put a key in her pussy. She put a key in her pussy. I've heard of highlighters. I've heard of toothbrush, like normal standard shit. I've never partaken in that, but like I guess in some way it makes sense. But I'm scared to put like a diva cup in there. How would you put a key up your cooch and expect to get it out the next day? Are you supposed to just like- You put the key in your- Not like it could have gone anywhere. It's not like it could have gone anywhere. I am no doctor, but I did take a health class my freshman year of high school. And I believe the way the female vagina is set up is like this. Like, this is where, like, things go in. And then it goes like this. So it could have gone a vast majority of places. And something made you think it would be a good idea to shove a key up your goddamn vagina. Did you find it? I can't seem to find it. But, but what do you mean you can't find it? You think it might have fell out? That's- Something's wrong. I, I'm in a lot of pain. I think the key might still be in there. I think the key might still be in there. Okay. Ladies, have you ever put a tampon in and had it just fall out? Like, I'm not talking about, like, sliding out. I mean, you put it in, your coochie said, nah, not today, and it just flew out. There's no scientific way. This shit can't be real. Like, make euthanizations legal again 2020 because I... Another reasoning for euthanization. Sex can lead to pregnancy. Pregnancy leads to having a child. If you think it's okay to put a key up your treasure chest and then say it fell out, what makes you think you can take care of a goddamn child? You can't. I never fucked my cat. I never came in my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. Jason, I think I have to go to the ER. Oh, we should not be here. Once we got to the ER, I was like, oh wow, yeah. we're handcuffed and we're in costume. It felt like everyone's head was on a swivel and came straight and looking at us. I feel like if I saw that walk into an ER, my first reaction wouldn't be like, oh my God, it would be to whack my phone out and take a video of it. Everyone except for the lady that checked us in. She act like she saw it every day. I think the part that shocks me most of all about this, not even the key, I think the part that shocks me most is that they're surprised people were looking at them. You're showing up to an ER in a Dragon Tales costume and a Princess Peach Toddler's Tiara costume and you're gonna be like, why are people looking at us? They were like turning their heads. No fucking shit. Like Nurse, I know we look unusual. But I'm in a lot of pain right now. Doctor, I shoved a key up my cooch and now I can't get it out. <laughs> Sir, you don't have to raise your hand. Uh, could you show me where the bathroom is? Jason, no, no. I gotta get to the bathroom, Jason, babe. No, no. Babe, I gotta be. The key first. So that's it. That's all. I know euthanization is like a touchy topic, but I don't know. I'm still kind of on the subject of take a test before you can legally have sex because these people shouldn't. Have? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Kay. This is my first video, guys. I kind of 
I hope I don't get bullied in the comments. I mean, well, you know what? Even if I do, I, I can't blame you. If you enjoyed it somehow, um, subscribe, like. All right, well, I am going to go euthanize some children. So, <laughs> I'll see you later.